What's going on? Uh, I just want to make a video and do a breakdown on how I got started in real estate investing while I was reselling. So just to start it off, get right into it. What is reselling? I'm not going to go all into it into this video. If you want to learn more about reselling and what it is and what it all entails, you can go watch some of my past content. But in simple terms, just basically buying something low and selling it for high. So in the picture on the left here, this is when we first moved to Phoenix, Arizona. We're originally from Bismarck, North Dakota. I was supposed to start flying for the airlines back in 2020. And then boom, the world did, it, did what it did. They laid off all the airline pilots. Um, so we decided we wanted to change, moved to Phoenix, Arizona, and decided to go all in on couch flipping, just flipping in general. So we first started, we didn't have much at all. Um, we actually put this a uh, little tiny storage unit on a credit card. The first month was free, and then I think the following month, um, it was like $79 a month. We only used it for like two months, but it got us started. We instantly started going out and sourcing at like Goodwills and marketplaces like Facebook uh, and things like that. Filled it up right away. You can see here, today's buy cost was 110 estimated profit 750 So we were just basically buying furniture low and then selling it high. So we, where we started, like I said, we started in that little tiny storage unit and then we quick, quickly outgrew that. We upgraded and got a bigger one. Um, you know, we proved the concept. This one was a little bit more. It was like 300 bucks a month. And then eventually we wanted to, when we got settled in and got an apartment, because at first we were staying on, on a buddy's couch and we literally just borrowed his, his uh, pickup and then got a Penske truck. Um, eventually it just started going after it and picking up all kinds of stuff. But we eventually got a storage unit closer to where we got an apartment and then operated out of there for about a year and a half until eventually we decided we wanted to scale things up. This was on the left, our, our last day moving out of our storage unit. And this was on the right, we moved into a warehouse and ended up scaling up um, you know, a reselling business. So like I said, I'm not gonna go all into what is reselling in this video. It's basically just buying something low and selling it high. You can go watch more of my past um, content. We also have a high level mastermind style program called Reselling Academy, where we teach you A to Z, how we started from zero and scaled to over 20K plus per month. But basically what we did to get into real estate investing, when we were out picking up and delivering couches and furniture all day long, we were driving through neighborhoods and when you're in those neighborhoods, you want to look for, you know, distressed homes. I did, I got this app called Deal Machine. And what that allowed me to do basically was, this is kind of what the interface looks like. So when I was out driving, like I said, through neighborhoods, picking up and delivering furniture, if I saw a distressed home, distressed home, I would have this app pulled up and I would add that home to my driving for dollars list. So once I added it, it would basically on the right here, um, it would look like this, all of the homes I would add. And then in the middle, at the end of the week, I would usually add anywhere from 20 to 50 plus homes per day when I was out um, picking up and delivering furniture when we were reselling. I would add um, all of those homes and at the end of the week, what I would do is take all of those homes and skip trace their addresses. And what that would allow me to do is get all of the information I needed about the home, who owned the home, the phone numbers, emails, how to reach out to them. And what I would do is start reaching out to these homeowners that were showing signs of distress and see if they wanted to sell their property. So if you never heard of him, his name's Brent Daniels. He has a TTP podcast. His famous quote is, ugly houses, big checks. So that's what you're looking for. So these are the some of the houses that I added on my driving for dollars list and the type of houses I was looking for. So homes that you know showed signs of distress this one has boarded up window. This one is really overgrown. So these are homes that I would add um, to my driving for dollars list. So this was literally my very first day driving for dollars. As you can see, I didn't have any fancy app. I was literally hand texting and hand calling all of these people right on my phone. I didn't have anything fancy. And I reached out. This was my very first day. Um, and I was literally just copying Brent Daniels, um, like texting scripts. So I said, hello, sorry for texting out of the blue, but is this Crystal, the owner of, you know, 123 Main Street in Phoenix, Arizona? This is Tanner. I had a quick question. She responded, it's not for sale at the moment. Should I keep your number for future reference? I said, no worries. Of course, please save my number. 
My name is Tanner. I'm a local home buyer. We purchase properties with cash. We pay all the closing costs and there's no real estate commissions and we buy whatever, blah, blah, blah. Literally was just following um, what Brent Daniels said to do. I had no clue what I was doing. And then, but that opened up um, a can of worms right here where she said, the house is in a pickle, inheritance from my father, rented out to my sister-in-law who didn't pay the rent and forced me into foreclosure. So I sold it to her dad for 20000 She has a bill of sale. He died in 2017. Since 2019, I've, have, I've had everything in place and she refuses to give up the home. Um, I'll keep your number if you're still interested. You were not pushy or a jerk and that matters to me. Um, you know, I said, I'm very sorry to hear that. That sounds very frustrating. I would definitely be glad to help you out in any way. We have helped several others in sim similar si situations as well. Is there anything I can do to help? So, so you're not trying to convince anybody to sell their home. You're looking for those people who are showing signs of distress. Um, you know, driving for dollars is just really a good way to do it because you're if you're reselling um, because you're already driving through neighborhoods and if if a house shows the signs of distress on the outside, that's usually a good indicator of what's going on on the inside. So there's all kinds of situations somebody can be going through. Um, but from here, you know, it's really just a matter of a following up game. So no, you're usually not going to reach out to somebody the first time and they want to just hand you the keys to their house. Um, so it's really a process. As you can see, I've stayed consistent following up with her for um, over a year and a half. So once you find somebody who wants to sell their house and you know is in a distressful situation, what you can do is a number of things. You can offer them a cash price on what you could give them for cash, or you could buy it creatively. Usually when you buy it, um, you get it under contract for a cash price. You can do a number of things. If you want to fix it and flip it yourself, you can. Or what you can do is assign your rights to that agreement to somebody that will fix and flip, an end buyer. I have a ton of those in my community as well. Um, but another thing that you can do is what my mentor teaches Pace Morby is creative financing. So one of Pace's famous, famous words are cash, 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 pitch terms last. So when I was out driving for dollars, um, something I would do too is if I saw a home that had a for sale sign in front of it, what I would do is I would pull it up and see you know what's going on. It would tell me how long it's been listed. And if it's been listed for a while, Obviously, there's some sort of sign of distress there. Um, you can you can pretty easy to tell that this home is vacant. So, you know, if somebody has a second mortgage, there's all kinds of things that people could be going through. Um, but obviously, they're not getting the price that they wanted. So, what I do in these situations is reach out to the realtor and see what's going on, see if you know why they're why they're selling, what their situation is, and if they were a good fit, and I feel like they were qualified. You, what, what I would do is reach out to them and offer to basically take over their payments or buy it on terms. What terms basically means is um, when you when you offer to pay terms for a house, you can often pay more than what you could for cash. So say this home, for example, had a mortgage on it still. What I can do is take over that mortgage, those payments, um, and be able to give them the price that they're asking. And if they have any equity, I can structure a note and pay them out on that equity as well separately without having to go and use my own credit or do any um, of that. So that's what I've learned from Pace Morby um, is creative financing. It's just another tool that you can have in your tool belt when you're doing this. Um, I'm not claiming to be an expert at all in creative, creative financing. I would definitely go watch his channel if you wanted to learn more about it. But yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video on how I got started uh, in my real estate investing journey while reselling. So reselling was really nice because I could make cash right now, usually pretty quick. I then took that money to go invest in myself and to Pace Morby's Sub 2 mentorship program. Uh, that's where I learned most of all of this stuff. Um, when, I, when I was first starting off driving for dollars, I didn't really have a clue what I was doing. I was just watching a bunch of YouTube videos and trying to piece it all together. But it's a really good way to get started in real estate if you are reselling. If you want to watch a video uh, that we did live in the field driving for dollars, this is the thumbnail. You can go in my past videos and check that out. I'll also have the video link below in the description along with the Deal Machine app. You can check that out. If you guys have any video suggestion or suggestions or ideas for me, Comment them below. Um, I love having your guys' suggestions and making more videos um, about what you're looking for. 
But other than that, if you want to learn more about reselling too, go check out my past content. I also have a link below for Reselling Academy if you want to check out what all of that entails. Um, but yeah, just want to make this quick video on my, how I got started in real estate investing. We'll see you guys in the next one.